Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Linehan. I'm a urologic oncologist at Providence St. John's in Santa Monica, and I am here to introduce you to blue light cystoscopy. This is basically a system that's used for bladder cancer patients where we can find tumors that are very small, almost microscopic, that we would not have normally seen doing a regular cystoscopy. Now cystoscopy is just a camera that goes into the bladder to look around for bladder tumors. But in this instance, we instill a dye prior to you doing the cystoscopy. The dye sits there for an hour and we go in with this special camera that can actually switch into a mode that looks for these smaller tumors that have been basically elucidated by the dye. And even though we do call it blue light cystoscopy because it's actually using a blue light, when you see the tumors, they're actually a very bright pink. We have this technology here in both our clinic and in our operating room, and this is changing the way we take care of patients especially for patients with bladder cancer, we know that even with low-grade bladder cancer or high-grade bladder cancer, these tumors tend to recur. And with a high recurrence rate, it's better for the patients if we can find them when the tumors are smaller and treat them when they're smaller than waiting for them to grow. So with this, we can actually look inside the bladder, see areas of tumor that are growing that we would not have seen before, and treat those automatically. In a recent case I had, this was in our operating room, I had a patient with known bladder cancer. There were some small tumors that I had seen in the cystoscopy that I did in the office. And the cystoscopy in the office had been done without the blue light technology. So we went back to the operating room. This time I used the blue light te technology. And of course I saw the tumors that had been there prior in the office. But I also saw three other lesions that I would never have seen with my naked eye. And I kept switching back and forth between the white light, which is the normal cystoscopy, and the blue light, and I would not have been able to see these lesions. I was then able to treat them. And enabled to do this, these lesions could have grown even after the patient's procedure, and we would have had to come back to the operating room for another procedure, maybe in four to six months. So being able to find these tumors when they're smaller to detect them sooner is actually helping patients need less procedures and, of course, saving lives.